Hello, the Luck Mom family. Welcome to our live stream. In case you are new here, just feel most welcome. This is the right place to be. My name is the Luck Mom Deborah Nyanchoka. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia and mostly a great awareness of what happens in the Middle East. Sometimes I do help those ladies who are stuck. If you are sick, you are being forced to work, you can just reach me out. You've lost your loved one, you don't know where to start from, you can reach me out. You have your missing family member, Amju Yalinda Wapi. You can reach me out, we try our best to trace your loved one. So, Nikuwa Paivi, I want to talk about Kurudu uh, the same house. You are, you are done with your contract, then you decide to go back to the same house. I'm sharing this because of what's happening right now. Platinum's hello, how are you? Uh, and I've decided to share uh, about changing houses and extending contract. Let me share the link here. I joke now to Akuna Yakili and Asama like, Mom, I want to extend. Like, Mom, I want to change house. Kuna Indaje, I've shared the link. You can follow that link and learn something. If you have a question, it will be answered in that video. Mustiana Limaliza contract yake vizuri, boss alikuwa mzuri. Akaenda nyumbani, akarudi the same house, akupitia ofisi. As we talk right now, I'm kwa street, I'm two point of street. So ni mefura here, I'm just trying to educate someone mwenye anaiza jipata kwa hiyo mtego. Truth kwa sige anasema, yes Debra, how is you? May God give you strength, Ruth. From Nairobi Kangemi. Karibu sana Ruth. Ukwaje. Uh, Michelle Evona nasema leo tumianza na wewe mamu tuende kazi. Asante sana karibu. Uh, Betty Shunza nasema God will reward you for the good job. Keep it mungu wa kupenguvu. Asante. Sometimes ukisema unasaidia usaidia tu. Usisaidia ukitaka faida ama kitu yote. Because after this I'm going to tell you what's happening guys. Na tutasaidiana na nyinyi. Because kuna wasiana walisema wamesaidia msiana kutoka kwa street side, they are demanding a lot of money from their family. It's something I'm doing a follow up and I'll be back. But for now, I want to talk about a kurudi kwa the same house. This is a lady. Alirudi kwa the same house, akupitia kwa ofisi. Na saizi anangahaika kwa street, hajui anzie wapi. Because tuliongea na yeye, lakini hajui anzie wapi. Juu sasa ofisi ya imujui, yeye alienda, ukimaliza contract urudi nyumbani, then you go back to the same house, your office will not be responsible because you didn't sign any contract again na wawo. Uh, Rosa nasema, hi like mom, long time, how are you? Watching from Ria, thank you. Mary Musa nasema, good morning like mom, the work you are doing will be paid here. Be strong mom, thank you. Mama kema boys nasema, marani eke renyo. Loud and clear. Thank you, Jennifer. Di baro nasema sauti hakuna. Hakuna sauti? Let me know kama hakuna sauti. Kuna sauti? Kama unasikia sauti yangu, sema hi. Kama unasikia sauti yangu, just andika hi. Nijue kuna sauti. Jennifer, unasema sauti hakuna ama nisimi yako ikona shida. Unajua... Au watu wanakuanga wazuri. Sa zingine, ukifanya kazi, kuna mali mutafika mkorofishane hapa katikati, then towards the end of the contract, kena uwane wameanza kukua vizuri. Oh, wanasema mibi upande wako ndi utangalia Jennifer, kama network ikona shida. Hapa hivi, sauti iko sawa. So, au mabosu wanakuanga hivyo. I want to educate somebody mwenye kukua contract, umekaribia kumaliza na umona au watu wameanza kukua wazuri, Mpaka unatamani kurudi the same house. Usikubali ujipata kwa huu mtego wenye sister yetu wanapitia saizi because mimi ni memuambia hende police apele kwa empathy. Because sioni kama kuna, kuna ofisi utaitisha hapa. If Gracia za nasema continue, uh, God will continue providing for you. Thank you. Sauti kwa mama. Oh, tabitha kimana nasema watching from Saudi Arabia. Lusinguya nasema loud and clear. Lilia Noginga, hi. Holy ni mwanga nasema hi mama love you. Blessings. Thank you. I love you too. Lusi muhonja nasema good job mama. We are here with you. Thank you. Grace kimana nasema hi. 
Ifu wana sauti kopawa kabisa. Oh, ok, 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 Jennifer amesema amenisikia sasa. Ha watu, ukienda kumaliza contract ni wazuri, wananza kukua wazuri, sasa unasawi yenye walikuwa na kutendea hapo, hapo nyuma. So mtu wananza kukuambia, will you come back? Unamuambia, I will come back. Anakukatia ticket, anakupatia re-entry visa. So re-entry visa, ni yenye utarudi kwa nyumba yake. Sasa huyu msichana wetu um, uh, tangu apewe re-entry visa kaka kama vacation amerudi. Unaona? Uh, Gloria anasema usimtukane mkunga kama uzazi ungalipo. Angerudi tu kwa ofisi, hiyo sio si Kenya ni foreign country. Exactly. Hiyo ni foreign country. By the way my sisters ukimaliza contract ukifika nyumbani pitia tena kwa ofisi kama hujafurahishwa na ile ofisi yako ya kwanza enda kwa ofisi nyingine enda kwa ofisi tofauti so long as utakuwa kwa mikono safe so ule msichana amenifikia siwezi kata ameni reach out the only option nimempea juu amelala msikitini leo usiku yote hadi asubuhi nimemwambia atafute police station awaambie wampeleke mpasi ya Kenya that is the only direction naweza kumsaidia because who boss <coughs> Hakuna ofisi inamjua kwa sasa. Unaona? Kuna uwezekano maybe alihama penye walikuwa anaishi. Unajua mabosses nyumba zao zinakwanga kwa system. Maybe alihama kwenda kuingine. So a ofisi haimjui hawana contract na yeye tena. Sasa inakuwa ngumu kusaidia mtu kama huyo. Shantena anasema hi mom aki ile tungekuwa na uwezo saa hizi ungekuwa unafanya job ya government juu huwa unafanya kazi nzuri. Asante. Unajua sio lazima ufanyie government kazi. You can do it from your comfort zone. Unaweza kufanya tu mahali popote because unasaidia watu, watu wenyu. Hata sio lazima ufanye na government but at least hiyo ni maombi mzuri lakini tunashukuru Mungu. Kama if you can work from anywhere na uokoe mtu, uokoe maisha ya mtu, that one is okay. Hiyo inakuanga inaitwa call. So, uh, ni vizuri mnaniombea mema na napenda sana. Kuna mtu alikuwa anasema, "Eh, lakini mama mtu alikusaidia kutoka Sudan. I am going to get that nini from TikTok. Alikusaidia kusoka Sudan ukuje usaidie watu wetu." Nikasikia kama hiyo ni nini nifurahisha, but nitaenda kumtagi huyo mtu. Niliona kama ilinifurahisha sana. Sasa nataka kuambia watu ukimaliza contract rudi kwa ofisi tafuta ofisi kupeleke tena ule boss atabadilika unaona wamemtupa nje amelala nje this is the second day amelala nje ajui aende wapi ajui anaenda kutakia nani kwa sababu sasa ule boss mwenye alimrudisha mmoja ndio bado amemtupa nje unaona so nataka kuambia wale watu wenye saa zingine ulimefika nyumbani ukapata savings zako zenye ulisave hakuna kakitu sasa umetamani unarudi Saudi Arabia umeshaanza kuambia ule bosi wako madam nataka kurudi hata kuna wengine wanaribianga wengine unapata madam ameshapata mfanyikazi lakini ana kazi anasema i want to come back to your house so juu ule bosi alikuwa amemzoea na anaona aende kumfunza kazi anamkubalia anarudi wanatesa ule mwingine mwenye kuko tayari but lakini pia we uende ukai ukakae vizuri gloria anasema hi the luck like mom mimi hata wakae wazuri hawa ni mashetani kama umeenda home vizuri please usirudi juu huku ni kujitakia. Tunataka kuambia wale watu wakwenda nyumbani na kurudi the same house. Kuna wenye wamebahatika 1% wakarudi wako kwa nyumba miaka kumi, miaka kumi na moja. the same house. Lakini huyo imemkalia bahati mbaya because atajaka miezi tatu. So ni kama watu walikuwa wanamngoja tu waone. Unajua ukirudi wanakuona uko desperate. Alafu sio wao peke yako unaweza fanyia kazi. Ni watu wengi wanataka wafanyi kazi. It's not a must you go to the same house. Usianyesha mtu ndio unaweza kuwa uko na shida ya kazi lakini sio lazima ufanyie mtu mmoja kazi ambaye ataku unajua wameshajua weakness yake wamejua tu wamempea mpaka passport yake wakamwambia enda mguu wakamfungulia mlango she has been outside for two days but meanwhile kama kuna mtu anaweza kuwa ako na means yenye anaweza kumsaidia you can reach me out tuone vile tunaweza kumsaidia lakini ninataka kutumia hii example yake kuelimisha watu kwa ukimaliza contract don't try to go back to the same house before upitie kwa ofisi without upitie kwa ofisi kwa sababu unajua una save you boss pesa <coughs> and if you want to know more ama wewe utaki hizi stories za like mom you can follow this link 
uone story ya kubadilisha nyumba na kurudi the same house what happens Sisi hapa sasa hizi tuko kupiga story kidogo tukielimishana so hatuna haraka Lila Noginga nasema uh, shida ya watu ukionyesha uko desperate ndio wanakugeuka True Aisha nasema hey like mama Mungu akubariki kwa kanzi nzuri asante Usiwa onyesha watu uko desperate Oh mimi unajua madam my husband died I have five children I don't have food my mother doesn't have food I don't have a father Oh akisikia hivyo anasema huyu amefika Huyu amefika yani wanatumia weaknesses zako kama stones wanajua tu hata ukikosana na wao na wao wanakwambia Kenya poor country you will go nowhere you will stay here you in your country poor Yani wana wana kumixia kizungu mpaka wana wanasistiza na poor 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 poverty poverty mpaka unashangaa una wewe ndio wewe ndio ulikuwa na hiyo shida wewe ndio uliwaambia kwa sababu ulitaka uongezwe mshahara ukataka uhurumiwe upewe tu zawadi so ukaanza kusema wewe hakuna biashara ya kuambia bosi wewe ni nani wewe ni mfanyikazi wewe umeenda kuchapa kazi in Africa in Kenya we have a lot of food tuko na chakula kazi ndio hatuna hmm? kazi ndio hatuna lakini chakula iko kwa wingi Queen anasema how bosses ubadilika anytime ni pretenders kabisa plus na mwanauza what about updates from Kataju uko na visa utokea but no one is updating us bado hawajaanza kusema Rizika anasema hata yeye alijitakia shida tu wakati mwingine mtu asijaribu kuamini hao Arabu. Rudi kwa ofisi mkubaliane ndio urudi same house. Ona sasa nani wakulaumiwa hapo anyway Mungu atafanya wepesi inshallah. Kama wanasema Aberros kama wanasema ah watu wakiona contract inaisha ujifanya wazuri sana. Hapo utapewa tu zawadi. Utapewa tu zawadi. By the way ukienda wacha nikwambie wa, mtu wangu ukirudi kwa the same house bila kupita kwa ofisi wewe umesaidia huyu mtu half a million. Unajua wananunua watu half a million. 200,000 inabaki Saudi Arabia kwa agency ya Saudi Arabia, 300,000 inakuja Kenya. So unasaidia mtu pesa nyaezi kukulipa hata hiyo mwaka mzima. Kwani wani kwani kwani ulizaliwa na yeye? Kwani mko related? Yaani alikwambia yeye ni maskini unamsaidia hiyo pesa yote unakimbia direct. Ukikimbia direct ni pesa ndege tu atakulipa. Anakulipia tu ndege hizo zingine zote unamsaidia miaka miwili na hata kuongeza mshahara. Mshahara kama ulikuwa unafanyia 900 na kupea 1000. Sio ni mimi amekuongeza. Na msaidia ngapi? Half a million because hiyo process yote mpaka apate maid atakuwa ame spend half a million Kenyan money. 500,000 Kenyan money nitakuwa ame spend. So wewe unataka kujifanya mzuri, wewe utajaribu on your side kumfurahisha lakini atakuangamiza. Msichana wewe sasa hizi amelala kwa streets siku mbili kwa sababu alirudi for, kwa the same house sasa ananiambia ofisi walini block so nikimwangalia na mwambia my dear ofisi haina makosa kwa sababu wao ni first time na mlimalizana au na biashara na ofisi tena so nataka kuambia ule mtu mwenye ameshafika nyumbani sasa hii unaona maisha imekuwa ngumu unaanza kupembeleza boss you think twice kwanza kama ulipewa exit yako tafuta ofisi yenye itakupeleka lakini wacha kurudi kwa the same house without passing through the office Junaona watu wanaenda kuteseka na siwezi kufurahia nikiona watu wakiteseka alafu hakuna kitu kibaya mtu anakuomba msaada anadhani maybe ila like mama anaweza kunisaidia anapata sina help. Juu sitaweza kumsaidia hakuna mtu atamsaidia hata ofisi haitamsaidia because hakuna hakuna ofisi ilimrudisha ni yule boss waliongea na yeye. Sasa huu boss ndiye anafaa kumrudisha. But the only way anaweza kufika nyumbani ni kwenda police station apelekwe embassy ama apelekwe deportation. Of which hata inakuwa ngumu. Na huyu boss maybe anaenda mblock, amblock. Anaenda anaenda kumsolvia kesi. So ndio naambianga watu unaenda embassy. Ukiwa na shida enda embassy. Enda embassy utasaidiwa. Lila na uh, Daisy anasema, "Hi Madam Debra, I'm watching. I've learned something. Thank you. You are welcome." Nasi kimeni anasema, "Watching you loud and clear from the mom. Keep it up with your good work. Love your work." Have a nice lunch ma'am. Thank you you too. Daina Bonareli anasema ni vizuri kupita ofisi. Watu wafikirie tufikirie kabisa. 
Uh, Bero sana sana ukirudi the same house bila kujulisha ofisi ni riski sana. Anaweza anda deportation. Ya yeah, anaweza kuenda deportation lakini sasa ana means ako mbali na deportation. So anafaa kuenda deportation lakini sasa Lin ana sana sana hi like mom may god give you wisdom. Amen. So what wa ku extendisha uh, nimeongelelea kurudi the same house watu wa kuwe very careful hao watu badilika ni vigeugeu tusipoele mishana atuta saidiana so usirudi kwa the same house bila kupitia kwa ofisi huyo sio mama yako na huyo sio baba yako huyo ni mtu mwenye umujui na anakaa kwa country nyingine hata 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 government haitapata tax ya hiyo biashara sababu bado tunataka hata sisi revenue huku nyumbani so ukipita hizo ma shortcut unataka kufurahisha mtu mwenye anaenda kukuumiza next I, it doesn't make sense kabisa So wewe ukitaka anataka services zako unajua ukienda kwa mtu for free anaona wewe hauna value Ndio maana unaonanga saa zingine mkikosana ukisema unataka kurudi nyumbani anasema you have to pay me my money that I bought you Anakuambia unamlipa pesa yote yana kuhesabia mpaka anasema hata 20000 Saudi riyas you have to pay me my money because ulikuwa wa value alikununua na pesa so saa hizi wamemtupa nje because hawako mununua na pesa sasa unaona ni rahisi kumtupa nje because hawaendi hasara yoyote kama mwafanyia mwezi mmoja imesharudisha hiyo pesa ya ticket so we ukirudi kwa the same house wewe uko na shida kuna watu wamemaliza contract wamekaa hapo for 5 months Six months ulimaliza contract boss anakuambia lazima ufanye miezi mitatu ndio nikulipie ticket na I, i think even this information itakusaidia pia wewe contract ni 24 months 24 months kama uliingia january 1st huo mwaka wa pili ukiisha january 1st ndio unafaa kutoka kwa hiyo inchi nataka watu watu wanisikize vizuri hapo ndo nafaa kutoka kwa hiyo inchi kama ni January first after two years. Boza sikwambia tu unaongeza miezi mitatu ndio akukatie ticket. Hakuna mahali popote imeandikwa hivyo. You should know you are right. Unajua tu ukimaliza two years unaenda nyuma. Wacheni wacheni kupembelezana na mtu. Kwa sababu i, i, the, the 25th month, 26th month, 28th month mpaka that month that year hiyo miezi yote shida ikikupata hapa katikati hakuna mtu utauliza hata ofisi hizi ulizwa mama ke saimo hii ni ile story ya usiku ama ni mtu tofauti siwezi jua ya usiku ilikuwa wapi but nataka kuambia watu I, kama muliona usiku ilikuwa mahali then is the same story nimeongea na huyo msichana leo asubuhi akaniambia sasa juu anzie wapi Kurudi the same house is very risky. Hata boss hakuna kitu tutamfanyia by the way. Hakuna kitu tutamfanyia. Sama kosa unaelekea wewe mwenye unarudi. Wewe mwenye una extendisha contract kwa nyumba ya wenyewe mpaka one year. Unasema oh walinilazimisha wakarinyui kama you have a right to say no. Ile siku yenye umefika kwa contract. Unasema mimi nakwenda basi. Kama kwa hiyo situation na unataka kuenda nyumbani lakini wale ulimaliza contract wamekulazimisha wamesha renew kama you can reach me out tujaribu tuongee penye tutaweza because kuna watu tumefanya na wao mtu anasema like mom mimi niko na miezi tatu na nimemaliza contract so wakiona tukianza kufuatilia boss anakata ticket na mtu anarudi nyumbani so usi usi endelea ku watu wasikunyanyase kama umenyamaza unajua pia we ni wa muhimu pia wewe ni wa muhimu sana. Ile kitu unasema hata wewe unakuanga na familia yako unafaa kuenda kuona. Mtu asikuchagulie kitu unafaa kufanya. Sasa unaona kama huyu msichana sijui vile atasaidika. Jumi nimemwambia aende police station wampeleke embassy. Mambo ya ku na, na kama mtu anakubadilisha nyumba usikubali kubadilishwa nyumba saa zingine kuna wenye wanabadilisha nyumba hata bila ofisi kujulishwa unaambiwa tu ofisi inajua 
ofisi inajua wewe hakikisha tu umeenda kwa hiyo ofisi uone imejua pia wewe ujue sio ati ni yeye peke yake anajua ati ofisi inajua na wewe hujui sometimes kaa ngumu kidogo ukijaribu kujitatia mtu anaona tu huyu mtu anajua kitu anafanya lakini ukiendelea ukiambiwa hii unakubali ukiambiwa hii unakubali watakupeleka mali kwingine pia utafanya kazi siku zote na watakuwa mbali na wewe so kazi yako itakuwa ni kuwa text unawa text unawaambia nitaenda nyumbani lini na hata mimi visa zingine watakublock na upate ile nyumba yenyewe wamekupeleka pia hauna namba za hiyo familia kabisa hauna namba hata ya mtu mmoja so saa zingine pia inakuanga risk sana usikubali kubadilishwa nyumba ukaenda kufanya kazi kwa nyumba nyingine yenye sio yenye uli, ulipelekwa kwa sababu ile nyumba ulipelekwa inakuanga kwa system unaona ile nyumba ulipelekwa inakuanga kwa system so in case of anything hata wakikataa kutuma location umepatikana na shida ofisi wanajua vile watakupata wanajua mpaka hiyo nyumba hizo nyumba zote na mba, nyumba zao zinakuanga na numbers ziko kwa system wanakupata rahisi lakini wakikupeleka kwa nyumba nyingine utapatikana ndio maana ofisi wana insist mtu ukiwa na shida usitoroke ukae kwa hiyo nyumba watakuja mpaka hapo ndio maana unaonanga saa zingine nikisema fulani na fulani ama mtu amewekwa amelala nje unapata watu wa ofisi wamefika hapo kwa sababu wanajua hiyo nyumba Divina anasema asante aki umenisaidia nilikuwa nirudi penye nilikuwa lakini sasa wacha ikae wacha nimalize deck niende nikiandaga usijaribu usijaribu by the hata kama uko nyumbani saa hii na naweza kukupea na wewe msana kwambi vile ameyapitia kwa street two days lakini ame Two days ni siku mingi na kama miaka mbili kama una mahali pa kwenda na ujuu wanzie wapi alafu walikuwa wamulipe na hiyo siku ya kumulipa ni wale mtupa nje So wamemtupa kama ana pesa ya Saudi hata kidogo jojo akaa sana tangarudi kutoka nyumbani Caroline Jojo anasema thank you for your advice dear watching from L Thank you Nataka ku ku request what we like mom family Unajua yule msichana mwenye alikuwa kwa street, mwenye alipatikana pale kwa street riad. Akasaidiwa na makemboi wengine. So makemboi wana demand pesa mingi sana 30,000 ndio wamwachilie, ndio wampeleke deportation. Hawana hata kitu ya kumsafirisha njiani, but they want to con the family. I'm want, I'm requesting, I'm just requesting. As much as unasema unasaidia mtu, saidia mtu na roho moja, si ati kukusaidia mtu na vitisho. A, 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 nataka kuambia nataka kuleta wale wasichana hapa even if they are watching here is good to help kuwasaidia wale wasichana tuliwaona wakimpembeleza kujeni twende tukakuoshe kujeni twende tukakuoshe msichana akakubali wakampeleka waka kufika pale wamemuosha na wanataka kumuuza na yeye hataki sasa imebidi wana demand wana demand pesa kutoka kwa familia pesa mingi sana 38000 uh, wao wenyewe hawawezi toka wakaende kununua sukari but wanasema wanaweza kumsafirisha mpaka deportation msichana tayari amekatiwa ticket lakini haonekani nataka kuwa request the moment mnaona nitaweka namba zao wasichana na, na, na picha zao tuwatafute hata kama ni location yao itapatikana na watatolewa hapo Mungu atawa expose evils zenye wanataka kufanyia huyo msichana na tutaenda kunyamaza i'm doing a follow up na, na kama una watch hapa na umeona au makemboi wenye waliwasaidia kama watakuwa hapa wajue tu hata kama walikuwa wanasema wanafanya roho safi na saizi wanaomba pesa ya chakula na mtu mgonjwa wacha nimalize hii show na kuja nataka kuambia the luck mom family tusikubali tusi, tusi watu wetu watumiwe vibaya kama umeamua unasaidia mtu msaidie mpaka mwisho wacha ku make demands Nasikia kama nasikia kama kichwa yangu haiko sawa lakini wacha niende na kuja. Because atuta watch mtu wetu ndio huyo ah tumefurahia ah makemboi ni wazuri wamemsaidia. Sasa hii pesa wanaomba ni mingi. Wanaomba pesa ya chakula. Wana, wanaomba pesa ya kununulia suruali. Yaani wanaongea matope. Of which it is not going to make sense kama unataka kusaidia mtu. Huyo msichana tayari amekatiwa ticket lakini penye wamekataa kumrelease. Na tuendi kunyamaza kama utaki kusaidia mtu umwache akae penye yako I'm coming back guys tushirikiane tujaribu kuokoa maisha huyo msichana wale ile familia I'm telling you don't pay even any coin sijaribu kulipa hata one bob 
Hakuna mtu anafanyia makemboi kazi. Kama umeamua kusaidia mtu wenu ni mkenya mwenzako unamsaidia sio na vishindo ni kwanza kutreta ni watu. Wacha nimalizane na isho I'll, I'll come back. Azima we have to make this world a better place for everyone.